You know, so working with annotations in earlier versions of AutoCAD can be really cumbersome and error prone because you'd have to sit down and do manual calculations to figure out how large you wanted your text and dimensions to be. And then if you changed anything, you'd have to go back and repeat those calculations. If you needed things to appear at multiple scales, you'd have to create them multiple times. Now you're having to change multiple objects every time you want to change something. So what annotation scaling does, first of all, is it lets you create one copy of the object, and then if you change anything, you only change the one copy. It also means that the objects are going to update automatically. So for example, if I unlock this viewport and I change the scale, notice that all the annotation objects, all the dimensions, the text, the leaders, the hatch patterns, they all get smaller as I rescale this window. But with annotation scaling, that doesn't happen. So here, for example, I've made these objects as annotation objects. So notice that now when I change the scale of the viewport, it takes a few seconds to update, but everything in the viewport goes back to the size it was before. So I've changed the scale of the viewport, but the objects themselves rescale. So with annotation scaling, you work as you normally would inside of AutoCAD, create things the way you'd normally work in model space, but then when you start to create your layouts, you're going to create a paper space viewport and give that viewport the scale that you think it's going to work at. AutoCAD will automatically create an annotation scale for each of the objects that you're working with, and then if you rescale the viewport, all those objects are going to automatically rescale themselves so that they, again, display at the size that you specified inside that viewport. Notice that if I create another viewport and assign it a different scale, another annotation scale is created and the annotation objects automatically resize so that they remain the same size that you specified. You can even reposition the annotative objects so that they appear in different locations based on the scale. But each is just a different representation of the same object. If you change the object itself, all of its representations update. So you can see that by working with annotation objects, you no longer have to do all the advanced work and figure out exactly what scale your drawing needs to be plotted at. You can change your mind later without having to go back and change everything. You only need one copy of the object because now, regardless of how many different times you've got it appearing at different scales, you only have to make one change to the object. So it's a lot easier to work in your AutoCAD drawing now and you don't have to do duplicate work.